Brewster. I'm gonna shoot you a two putter here, bud. Brewster sent me up this little fat boy. He says, man, convert this thing, put bias in it, update it, and then I need a kick-ass remote built. I said, okay. So I built him a remote, on off and sideband on it. All on a remote. Just like so. So anywho, shut this off. Now he says he's gonna use a little Cobra 29, so we're gonna use a Galaxy 66 with the Siltronics. So we'll eventually come around and use the Striker. We're gonna use a thousand watt slug in 1X and PEP. 1000 watt slug in RMS, 5 watt slug in reverse, on 14 volts. So, first things first, I'll show you drive. We're not going to put a whole lot into this thing, dude. Like you said, you got a gal or you got a 29 that does like one watt swinging up into nothing land, maybe 20 whole watts. Well, when we key this thing with a 2 watt dead key and a variable all the way open, gets you a 500 watt dead mall. It's too high. So if we reach here and we take and we run this variable back quite a bit. It tickles a 900 watt mark. Here's your input tune. That's simple, bro. She's up and working. Turn the sideband delay on. Sideband delay off. All right. So let's go ahead and switch over to the striker. All right, Brewster, we got your uh, got the remote on. Turn it off. And we're going to just show you what we're going to put into it for drive. We're going to swing about 80 watts into this thing. The difference between the Striker and the 66 is 66 uses push pull, and the Striker uses a real off the wall MOSFET, not like a 520. So we're not going to see as much on the average power side, but we're going to see a whole lot more peak drive. So, hello, audio. 80, 90 watts worth of drive. So when we turn on the Striker, we can run a variable all the way open it with one watt dead carrier. One watt dead carrier gets you about a 280 watt carrier. Hello in the corner. Hello in the corner. Now if you look real close between the 66, which is doing about 25, 30 watts worth of drive, and the 955, you'll see that the 955 is building almost 200 more watts output power peak, but the average power is down by almost 150 watts. It's the stinking finals in that striker, man. I tell you, it's something about the off-the-wall final that's in them. But the moral of the story is, hello, audio. So we just did over a thousand watts. If you put this variable, you set your 29 up, so that you've got a one watt dead key, you can run your variable all the way up. Hello. Off the scale on the stop. Beautiful input tune. Brother, you're all set up. Slap the tin on it and I'll send it off to you. Now I'm going to load up the other ray, other amplifier that you sent up here for me to work on, the Commander 200. So I'll be right back. Well Brewster, well 200A is done brother. I had to hook this thing back up, shoot the video for it, and it popped the other pill. This has got the rarer than rare MRF454s in it. And here's the 454s that come out of it. This is a newer lot. 454. 454. These things are harder and harder to find unless you're going to go get the Mekong version of them. The original Motorola's. But it popped this one first. That's what was wrong with it when it came here. 
like I said, I put uh, put her on a bench shoot video of it, and the second one went down. She's all good to go now, brother. So anyhow, just like in the first video, but what we did change is we went to a 100 watt slug. We're still in a 1000 watt slug in RMS, so 5 watt slug in reverse. 100 watt slug, it's in the 5x position. So we're reading that middle scale, 20s, 200, 30s, 300, 400 is 40, and 500 is 50. Use a 66 and a Siltronics. Hello. Audio. So we're going to put barely 30 watts into it. Here's a stand wave going through the box. Hello. Audio. Radio doesn't even know it's there. Of course, we're going into the bird 10,000 watt dummy load as always. We'll start out on low. A 2 watt dead key gets you about a 100 watt carrier. Hello. Audio. Swinging about 200. Hello. That's your input tune going into it. Put it up on high. Hello. About 240 watts. 240 watts on high. Hello. Perfect. It's all fixed up, brother. I appreciate you sending me this one. A little fat boy 1x4 to get all squared up for you. But, uh, like I said to you on the phone, man, should be out of here tomorrow if you're ready to go. My name is BBI. Without a shadow of a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. Come check us out, www.bbiamps.com. I'll see you. I appreciate everybody's support, and I appreciate all these wonderful projects I'm getting to work on. Click, click. Bye.